let me check the let me check Twitch, make sure everything's working. All right. So, as you all can probably still hear, I'm still very sick. Actually, the sore throat and congestion has gotten better, but the coughing has gotten worse. That and the fact that someone who I who I live with has tested positive for COVID, that makes me a little worried. Maybe maybe I do have the maybe I do have the funny disease. Let's hope it's not, cause if it, cause if I do, it's gonna make my life a whole lot harder. I'm gonna have to. Well, on top of the whole fact that I fu have fucking COVID, I also need to. I need to call a lot of people, let them know that I tested positive, positive. and that's not gonna be fun. So yeah, let's hope that I just have a regular disease. And not the funny disease. Also, for some reason it looks like bitrate is really bad. Hopefully it'll clear up as as the stream goes on. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. But yeah, we're doing placements today. Just gonna practice with the jet while I wait for the maps to roll over. First mode's gonna be Rainmaker. So, hopefully that treats me well. Oh god, I really need to improve my tracking. Well, not tracking, leading my shots. I say that- I say this like every time. But be leading my shots is like my weakest mechanical skill I feel right now. There we go. All right, I'm starting to get the hang of it a little bit. It's a good thing I stacked a lot of main power up on this thing because that actually helps with leading my shots. Makes it so I don't have to lead them as much. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, jet sculpture. I promise I'll stop using like the same weapons for placement every single time. But like, if I'm sick right now, I kind of want to just stick with, uh, stick with what I'm fam familiar with. I do want to start branching out and just start like using more other weapons more regularly. I don't want to go back to the Tetras at one point. Trying to do the sniping, results are questionable. Well, hey, at least you're getting practice. Man, if only I had the courage to bring a charger into ranked. Maybe the Bamboozler, not so much anything else. Bamboozler and Squiffler. Squiffler? What the, what the hell is a Squiffler? Bamboozler and Squiffer would probably be my first two weapons. First two snipers that I test out in ranked. You practice for the bow, eh? Hey, you gonna main it? The bow looks fun to me, but I don't think I'm gonna main it. Unless Splatoon 3 comes out with, like, a new weapon class that, like, really fucking wows me, I'm probably just gonna stick to the uh, dualies as my primary mu weapon in Splatoon 3. It looks like they'll be extra strong with all the new movement options. So that's exciting. There we go. It is time for Ranked.
but yeah, the bow seems fun, but like, not something that I really want to like, focus on. Ah, ranked. I only completed my placements for one mode. <sighs> Alright, let's do this. Pink Blood and Starfish Rainmaker. Man. Thinking of cool ideas for cool ideas for new weapon classes that Splatoon Three can bring to the table. I'm thinking like maybe an anchor and melee weapon would be really cool, but I feel like an anchor would be more suited as a special than a regular weapon. But I do think it'd be cool if he had like a more melee-ish weapons, because right now we just have the brush and the roller, and that's basically it. <sighs> All right, let's get this bread, gamers. All right, Blob and I have the right idea. I'm gonna push up ahead because I don't want to be useless, basically. Uh, they're tossing point sensors and everything. Oh god. Ah, damn. We play too passively. We were all playing way too passively. Nice. Damn it. Got him. Oh, uh, come on. Ah, uh, well, this does not bode well. Let me shoot the Spinkler. The Spinkle. Oh. Okay. At least I killed that guy. Oh. I'll shoot your feet. Uh. Yeah, I feel like our team is playing way too passively. Not much, not much that I can do about it since I'm a jet, but like... My teammates at the very least should also should be pushing up a bit more. Oh god damn it. Come on, he's so he's so weak. You mean splatted? You don't kill in Splatoon, you're right, Naomi. You're right, this is family friendly Splatoon family friendly Nintendo game. We can't say the K-word here. Can I ink up? Ah, oh, shit. I wasted my- I wasted my missiles. Family friendly Splatoon game. Not allowed to say the K-word here. I need to start, like, shooting where, like, enemies are gonna be. Oh, god damn it. Got him? Okay! Fall off. I guess. Doesn't help that the brush is always on you, I mean. That's how the brush do. They gotta be annoying as fuck. I'll s I should use my subs more. Uh, I'm gonna stay with my Rainmaker so that I don't accidentally bomb them. Damn it. Nice try. Okay, gotta shoot. Ah, come on! Okay, stay behind the wall! Ah, oh, come on! 
I was trying so hard. <coughs> Come on, we can take the lead, guys. We can take the lead. We just have to be not fucking bad at the game. God damn it. All right, I'm going. Uh huh. <coughs> <coughs> oh no, you gotta survive, man. You gotta survive. Yeah, good. Just don't jump back. This push is dead. We need to. We need to try our best to not get. Bash. Try our best to not get pushed back as too far. Gotcha. Knew someone would come over that way. You know what? That didn't do anything. The brush was specifically bullying you. I feel like most brushes, whenever they see like a a charger, they have to go like neuron activated. That was unfortunate, but yeah, when a brush sees a charger laser, they're like a neuron activated. Gotta become a heat-seeking missile. You still need to do your zones placements? I wish I was playing zones right now. Zones is a lot more- I like zones more than Rainmaker. Probably because all I really need to do is shoot the floor. <laughs> but we're stuck here and that's what I'm going to do. Maps that are in turf are going to be the maps in the zones rotation. Well, hey. Went from turf mode to competitive turf mode. <sighs> but yeah. Got myself a COVID test today. Won't get results for a day or two. Hopefully I get them soon, because... I mean, well, the less, r the less risk I have, the better to infect other people. I want to know if I should stay home or just keep going on with my day. Might match up with each other in placements. Well, hey, I look forward to it. If it does happen. Oh, God. Rainmaker Inkblot. I simultaneously enjoy it and I don't enjoy it. Because I feel like it's one of the more balanced maps, but at the same time, I just... I feel... I feel like I'm not that good at it. Get up here. Use my range to my advantage. Oh my god, I'm s so low on ink. Oh god. It's fine, we got we got points. I'm not gonna jump to that guy, I'm just gonna stay back, be a good little anchor, paint the turf and get my missiles. What? Are you fucking kidding me? That was bull. It would either be very cool or very terrifying. Probably not that terrifying. I mean, I am playing a comp competitive game while I'm sick, so... Probably not doing my best right now, but at the same time, like... I usually don't do that great anyways. Ah, uh, goddammit. Ah, uh, the Splatlink flanked around. I need to... Okay. I need to actually start playing my role. I'm the anchor. I stay alive. When I push up... I should push up when my team is making a push, but not so much that I'm basically forfeiting my role. I should be staying back, watching flanks, and making sure that everything is turfed for my team. Yeah, fuck that stingray in particular. <coughs> okay, I should be staying back a bit further. 
I should not be letting myself get killed. Got him. Yeah, see? If I, if I didn't stay back, my entire team would have been shredded by that Splatling. So I need to stay... I need to stay back a bit more. Nope. Oh god. I was in such a bad position there. I should have just backed up the moment I saw them also popping. Going for the pop. We're playing pretty good defense, but we're also kind of getting shredded right now. Which is not good. Not the greatest. Not very poggy woggies. Okay, two people are dead. Gonna paint around at the speed of sound. We got places to go. Gonna make sure my team doesn't get fucking deaded. Okay. I need to start using cover more. Oh shit, he got fucking splashed down cancelled by an inkjet. Oh my god, I'm fucking I'm fucking fragging the fuck out and I died. Bro, that is a sad booyah bomb. Okay, good, that guy's dead. Alright, good, good. Do, 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 do. Oh shit. Of course there was a flank. Of course it was a splash as well. Part zones you're familiar with, Skipper, you've never done solo queue? Skipper's alright. <coughs> <coughs> oh Jesus. Do, 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 do. Bro, you better not be fucking dumb about this. Damn it. God. Ah, that was out of ink. Okay, close game, but we won anyways. And you know what? I take those. Doesn't feel like we deserve that win, but I'm over thinking about deserved wins and undeserved wins. In the end, all that matters is that I won. <laughs> Five kills. Damn, our bucket really fucking carried us, didn't he? But yeah, Skipper's not too bad. On zones, at least. On the other modes, the asymmetricality of the map is a little... Makes things a little bit... <coughs> disadvantageous for some teams. <coughs> but yeah, I like Skipper zones. <coughs> Jesus. I'm gonna quickly eat another cough drop so I stop fucking dying. I'm gonna match without your team having a DC. Ah, uh, that sucks. Yeah, for some reason it feels like every time there is a DC in the lobby, it always happens on your team. Or I guess my team. Basically, whichever team the... Whoever is- whoever is a point of view it is, it's always happening on their team. Sounds kind of, uh, oxymoronic, but that's what it feels like. Uh, bro, you're gonna fucking die. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, my dude. Nice. Oh, that was a stalemate and a half. Okay, I'm grabbing it. We got the... Alright, push him, push him. Uh, I should have just- I should have just ran for it. But it's fine, we got 38 points. I should have just ran for it. I thought I could probably stall out the slosher. Okay. 
not gonna fuck with the slosher. Especially not there. Oh man, they are pulling out all the fucking stops. Ah, he's going up there! Oh my god, I, of course he's fucking dead. There we go. Just making sure that the Rainmaker can't jump there if he wanted to. Good special coordination, good. Oh my god, you're fucking dead, really? What? How did that fucking reach me? Oh my god, dude. Stop the Rainmaker! Oh god. Oh my god! I'm so dead! Uh, we're we're fucked. We are fucked. Got him. Got one guy. It's good for us. Gonna be watching that side to make sure that this. I keep forgetting how much range the slosher has. Oh, and they keep putting up beacons as well. I keep forgetting that the slosher actually has pretty good fucking range. Like, almost as much range as the jet. Ah. Okay. You don't have to stingray the rainmaker. Uh, bro, you shouldn't have grabbed it. Come on. Bro, you are so dead. Yeah. I'm staying alive. Ah, oh, never mind. I'm staying alive, dies. But I should probably be playing a bit more aggressive, I guess. Well, after we get control back, I should start doing some more aggressive plays. God damn it. No, I couldn't get both of them. I could hear him shooting over there, so... Oh, I got one person! Oh, we are- we are not gonna win this. Damn. Ah. <sighs> that was not too great. You ironically hate Skipper Turf? Why ironically? The ironically in that phrase is what wears me out. Why not hate it with your whole chest? Yeah, I was not that great that team, but to be fair, to be fair, our slosher didn't have any ink armor, so... I guess I played better support than my slosher buddy?
Like, I didn't frag out like the slosher, but I was better support. This cough drop tastes exactly like honey. It's kind of scary. It's pretty good though. I like it. Gonna booyah for good luck, even though my teammates don't booyah back, but that's fine. That just means that there are some hardcore gamers. That tent was the only one. Yo. Oh. oh, I thought that was a person. Ah. Uh. I need to run. Damn it. Bro, that was some fucking Looney Tunes Looney Tunes Tom and Jerry type chase. <sighs> Bro fucking died, really? Nice, nice. Yes! Splashdown cancel that bitch. Gotta get up here. This is a good position for me to be in if I don't fucking die like that. Uh, we got it down to 30, but they have it at 25. Okay, I just need to play better. Also, maybe use my sub-weapons a bit more? Ah, oh, goddammit. Also, maybe don't throw them in shit places. Okay, we should be hanging back a bit more because they have a man advantage. Good, we reset the Rainmaker. That gives us another opportunity to make a push. Gonna watch the right side a bit. Ah, this fucking tent. Good support play, but really fucking annoying. Ah. Nice. They're all over there! I had to make a play. They were all on the right side, I had to make a play. I'm just painting up as much as I can. Splash, sploosh moment. Sploosh down moment. Ah, oh, god damn it, the blaster had backup. I want to do some fancy feet jukes moments to kill the blaster, but he had, he had a buddy with him. Oh shit! Oh shit, our gal popping off? I'll carry it. I'll follow the gal. He knows what he's doing. Ah, never mind. The map is fine, but the opponent team is smart. Once they get the advantage, it's basically impossible to cut it. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of the... That's kind of the issue with, like, the asymmetric-ish maps. Like, I guess it's, like, technically Skipper is symmetrical. Like, Skipper is technically symmetrical, but not, like... Symmetrical in the way that makes a map balanced. 
Oh, that was so bad. Ah, damn it! I only got one of them. Ah, that is so bad. That is so bad. I need to get the Rainmaker! Chase him down! Ah. Sag. Another DC? Ah, oh, man. I know that feel. It's especially bad in, like, ranked. Hopefully you're not doing ranked, are you? Because if this is happening in ranked, then, like, my condolences, man. Dying. Maybe literally dying, depending on whether or not my COVID test ends up being positive. Doing turf, no way you're practicing sniping ranked? Yep, fair enough. But hey, at least it's turf. At least it's turf, but it's still- but yeah, it's still frustrating. Hmm, we got a Sploosh 7 and an E-Leader. That E-Leader scares me a bit, but I'm pretty sure we're at least gonna get first pop. Especially with one of their teammates dead. Oh! Booyah! Go, 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 go! Ah. But hey, we got- we got pretty damn good, uh, first start. Yo, are fucking Tetras doing work? Okay, I'm gonna back up. This is no place for a backliner. Never- never mind, apparently it is a place for a backliner, are you okay? Cook <coughs> her. Okay, okay, we take those. I'm gonna be honest, the moment I saw that E-Leader in Rainmaker, I was like, man, we're probably gonna win this. Because, like, let's be honest, E-Leader, not the greatest weapon of choice in Rainmaker. Honestly, most E-Leaders, like, want to be playing Splat Zones. They're not really fit for any other mode, considering how mobile the other modes are, and Splat Zones actually lets you, like, camp out in one spot. E-Leader is a niche weapon, for fit for a specific mode, just like the Explosher. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but, like... Sometimes you get people thinking, like, oh, maybe I'll bring it into Rainmaker. A mode that directly goes against my playstyle. Ah, here we have some more mobile charges. Hmm, no splashdowns to worry about. But we got a lot of armors. I don't think we're- are we gonna get first pop? I don't think so. Maybe? Oh? Oh shit? <laughs> no, are you fucking kidding me, really? That was so bad. That was so fucking bad. You know what, just, just for that one fucking move, I deserve to rank- not rank- Okay, not rank down, but I deserve to lose this entire match. No, oh, someone is ink jetting and I don't like that. Yeah. Don't care about this lead, it's a pretty terrible lead anyways, and I die. You know, watch your six, man.
thank you for the armor, my dude. That knot is gonna get away. <coughs> but not entirely. Keep running, knot. Nice. The knot can't do its thing if it's running from missiles all the time. Got him? What? I thought he picked it up. Ah, damn it. Nice, keep going. Uh, or you die from the inkjet. You know, that's also a good option. <sighs> They're gonna go around this side. Got him. Thank you, point sensor, for being a friend. Nice. Ah, damn. The undercover. Oh shit, everyone's dead! I was trying my best to sh movement. I'm curious, you're using the scope fire fin? Hey, nice. I like, uh, I actually like the scoped snipers better than the oh my god one mine now are not a list in seed. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. At least this round's gonna count as a draw if we do lose. Which we most definitely are. Oh shit, I didn't even realize that we had lead. Well, I mean, now we lost it. But yeah, I, I actually feel like I do better with scoped chargers, better than uh, unscoped for some reason. I don't know, I'm guessing maybe it's the forced position. The unscoped chargers, they like force you to move around and stuff, while the scoped chargers like kind of teach you to do a slower, a more pre precise playstyle. Basically, the unscoped chargers teach position. Wait, the unscoped chargers teach mobility, while the scope chargers teach pre um, positioning. Ah, <sighs> unfortunate. Technically, that was a draw, but still... My win-loss ratio not looking very good right now. Oh shit, that guy's name is Pug You. Shout out to Twitch, Pug 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 You. Nice, quick pop. Gonna go ahead and quickly push up. I did. Okay. You know what? Fair enough. I got outplayed. Oh shit, our Squiffer did fucking work there. Um. Okay. Oh, that blaster's pretty pretty good, seems like. Uh, we squandered that first pop. We got the first pop, but we squandered it. That- I could have sworn that Rainmaker took like five hits before dying, but okay. Oh, that blaster was so dead. Most mobile rainmaker you ever did see.
Okay, I gotta, I gotta get moving. Damn it. Ugh, damn. I was doing that song and dance for a while there. I'm gonna stay with my teammates so they don't get fucking drone striked. I'm gonna go up here so I don't get flanked. Okay, the charger couldn't reach me there anyways, I don't... Oh, oh okay. Oh, god damn it! Oh, I should... Uh, I wanted the missile first. Oh god. I saw that splatter shot, but they were coming around, but... Ah, damn it, if only I, I was able to missile first before... Before the game forced me to pick it up. I really hope what 2 and 3 does actually implement, like, a system where you can drop the Rainmaker. I'm coming after you. There we go. That's how you take out a blaster, you just get up in its face. Oh, okay. I should not have died there, that was my fault. This is such a close game. This is so winnable. I'm gonna paint your feet the best I can, my friend. Good. Um, okay, maybe not good to waste your baller like that, but okay. Got him. Oh no, I was got caught in the crossfire, damn it. Oh, come on, Rainmaker, just get up that ledge. It's so winnable, it's... Yes! Oh! Let me get up here with my friend. What did you think was gonna happen? Gonna jump to this guy instead. Got him. Ah, uh, damn it! I wanted to swim down and just beam him in the face, but... That wasn't gonna happen. Alright. That blaster is dead. Or of all the Rainmakers, so fucking dead. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that guy, that was not gonna turn out well for them. But yeah, we got a win. Nice. Is Object Shredder worth it on chargers? Um, not really. I would say you only really want to want run Object Shredder if you have a bubble weapon, or if you're playing Rainmaker and you really want to get that first pop. But even then, I mostly I I still recommend it more for bubble weapons, because chargers are actually pretty good with uh, shredding objects. For example, um, I think most chargers can shred a baller with two uh, fully charged shots. So I don't think, yeah, I don't think Optic Shredder is worth it if you don't have bubbles. For a charger, at least. <coughs> God. I'm dying. But hey, we got another win. That's pretty poggers, if you ask me. It's pretty poggy woggy. Why is it 2,220? Why am I in this lobby? I don't think I should. Oh no. Why, did Why is it that they always put the top 500 on the other team? Why do I never get top 500s on my team, huh? Yeah, insta pop. 
cleaned up as best as I can. As best as. Uh, unfortunate. Uh. Uh, of course. Of course it's the top 500. You know what, just knock it out. We're not gonna win this. He's gonna come up. Top 500's probably gonna try flanking around to kill me. Got him. I did not think that would be that close. <sighs> oh god, I'm dead. I'm dead for that. Except I'm not, somehow. For some reason. Not going to touch the Rainmaker, that would be suicide. Why would you do that? What? What? My reticle was right on them, what? Thanks for letting me up here for free. Damn it. Figured I could sow a little bit of chaos on their side, but that didn't end how I wanted it to. Suppose you can throw some ink recovery on? Yeah, ink recovery is always good on any weapon, to be honest. Nice. Ugh. Really? I got tap shot by the charger? To be fair though, that was suicide. I basically jumped onto like three three of the enemy. We also have double backline, that's also another point against us. I don't think the charger can hit me here from for any reasonable amount. Well, I'd rather take the hit than the Rainmaker, so... But then he dies anyways. The object... Sh Guessing that's object shredder. Shoes you were wearing had three ink recovery. Ah, oh, damn it. I wasn't, I wasn't even looking at the map. this game is that if there's gonna be a top 500 in the lobby put one on both teams like have two of them in the lobby and put them both on opposite teams at least because like what am I expected to do here what is a tiny creature like me going to do against a top 500 Losing was a foregone conclusion. We were never going to have a chance.
and just become the top 500 on my team? Bro, I wish. I wish it was that easy. Fortunate- I mean, at least at this point, I'm basically like- I'm basically just waiting out Splatoon 3. At this point, Splatoon 2 is just like target practice for me. To prepare for Splatoon 3. Alright, if I win this match, I'm gonna finish my placements. If I lose, I'm just gonna end here. Well, not the stream, just... Oh god, is it the same lobby? Please tell, please tell me he's, he's at least on my team this time. No, no. Okay, okay, the top 500 isn't in the lobby anymore. It's still the same power, though. <coughs> uh, I don't know. That was my fault. I went for an inefficient uh, route. Come on, bro, you can do it. You can do it, I believe! I believe in you! What? Is there someone up here? There is. Ah, damn it! What are my teammates doing? I was locked in that 1v1 for like ages, it feels like, and no one came to help me. Bro, the guy who I was helping in the first place fucking abandoned me, it seems like. <sighs> There's still someone up here. That pro is so fucking annoying. Alright, they're all dying, but there's still someone here. How- I don't think I've killed anyone! There we go, Jesus. Well, now I killed someone. Don't pick it up. Why would you pick it up, man? I'm chasing after the- I thought that was a Squiffer! <coughs> if I knew those were the dualies, I never would have chased after him. I'm at least gonna make sure that the pro doesn't try this shit again. What? Bro, we're all just feeding this pro. I'm just gonna paint up, paint up, be a missile bot. I'm not being a very good backliner for my team right now. I'm dead. Bro, I'm just feeding this fucking pro. You're glad you're not forgetting Mother's Day this year? Nice. Honestly, my family doesn't really s care much about holidays. Unless it gives us a day off or it's like Christmas. What? What the fuck are you doing here? A flanking squiffer? What the fuck?
I feel like I just spent this entire round feeding. You know, I just knock it out. And he swam into the wall? Okay. Imagine having holidays off. Yeah, imagine. Imagine being allowed to call off work during a holiday. That was a very annoying match. Yeah, I'm not gonna finish placements. <coughs> Another cough drop. Let me just. Um, 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 um. All right. What weapon should I play? Hmm. Should I go back to trying the squeezer? I haven't really thought this far ahead. I haven't really thought about which weapon to play. I want I want to use a pretty chill weapon. Since I'm sick, I don't really want to go fucking full try hard sweaty mode. I just want to kind of chill out. Play a nice weapon that allows me to sit back without having to sweat too much. Just looking through all of this. I pressed the wrong button. Definitely not an E-leader. I don't want to have to deal with that. Oh yeah, the Rapid Blasters. A rapid Blaster could be good. Ink Saver Main might be good for this. Because I know there's a... Uh, rapid Blasters love those torpedo combos. Placements? Oh, uh, in Ranked, every month your rank resets and you have 10 placement matches that'll give you your X power. And I just completed my placements. Well, no, I haven't completed them, but I have quit playing them because I don't want to lose my rank. If you place too low, you de-rank. So I don't want to risk that. I just want to chill in turf for now. Hmm, whatever, let's go with this. I've never played a Rapid Blaster before, so... It's gonna be interesting to see how this goes. Do you still stay in X rank if you don't complete placements, or do you have to do them? Oh, uh, you don't have to do them. Fortunately, if you don't complete your placements, you still stay in X rank. It just, your placements reset back to zero at the end of the month. Which is why I'm stopping playing Rainmaker here, because I've lost too many games and I don't want to deal with the grind of getting those points back. Yeah, I know it's not really conducive to like improving in this game, but at this point I'm just waiting for Splatoon 3. I want to wait until Splatoon 3 to like really try hard to sweat at this game. Splatoon 2 is just like, I'm basically just chilling at this point. Oh my god, why are there so many chargers? But yeah, I just want to play a nice, chill backline weapon, one that doesn't really... One that doesn't really expect me to go like, full try-hard, flanking enemy bases... type shit. That also doesn't really require me to aim that hard, like a... like a charger. Oh, I'm so dead. But yeah, that's why if I lose too many games in a row, I basically stop doing my placements, because... I'm a little baby bitch who is too afraid to drop out of X rank. 
I promise once Splatoon 3 comes around, I'm actually going to like try to improve at this game. But right now in Splatoon 2, like the mechanics in Splatoon 2 like are basically already like obsolete, considering how Splatoon 3 is like introducing new stuff. So right now I don't want to like stress too much about rankings and stuff. When there's like not really any point. Also, I need to stop jumping if I'm Oh, I'm the only one alive. I need to stop hopping around so much if I want to hit my directs. Got him? Got him? It's definitely a lot easier to hit your directs as a rapid blaster than any other blaster, considering how this is a... I mean, it's a rapid blaster. It's got a fire... It's got a faster fire rate. Got him. Well, shit. I ain't even mad. That was pretty good. I don't know what this Splasher is doing. I don't know how- that man took like four shots and lived? I haven't used my baller at all. Damn it. I haven't used my baller at all, and you can see why. I don't really think- it's not a very- not a very good special. Before Splatoon 3 comes out during September, I'm gonna try and get as high of a score as you can. Might as well, you know? You gotta end up with a bang? Hell yeah. Honestly, at this point, I just wanna like keep everything at X rank so I have like a. basically just like have the illusion that I end Splatoon 2 as a good player. <laughs> Splatoon 3 is when I'm really gonna like try hard and like actually like try to get good at that game. But right now, Splatoon is like- Splatoon is my Smash Brothers brawl right now. Like, I guess some people play it competitively, but most people like with the- With like, the completely unbalanced characters and like the tripping mechanic. Most people just treat it as like, a casual party game. Which is basically what I'm doing with Splatoon 2 now, but once like, Splatoon 3, aka the ultimate of Splatoon comes out, that's when I'm gonna like, go ham on competitive. Oh, didn't even realize that the other map was Port Mackerel. Hot take, I do not like Port Mackerel. I think it's a badly designed stage. It's far too long and too narrow. Chargers just have too much of a field day there. You would like to play Splatoon competitive, but being a young teen in life is hard. Yeah, although like, to be fair, most of like the really good competitive uh, Splatoon players out there are like in their teens as well. It was kind of shocking to me how young like some of, some of like the top Splatoon players were. Of course, like the big ones that everybody talks about, like Dude, Watson, are more like actual adults. But like I think Char is like Char was only in college, I think, and Kyo is really young too. At least Splat 2 port is better than Splat 1 port? Yeah. At least they actually add things that like seem to make the map more interesting in Port Mackerel, like sponges. Sponges. Did they have the moving uh, trucks as well? I don't remember. I know uh, Splat 1 didn't have sponges, but I'm not sure about the uh, moving trucks, the moving platforms. I think Splatoon 2 also added those. Although I guess Port Mackerel explains why there's so many goddamn chargers in the lobby. Well, that was interesting. 
I'm gonna jump to you because I don't want to deal with painting all the way to mid. Never mind, that was bad. God, I'm so sick of these try-hard pros. And by pros, I mean Splattershot pros in Turf War. Well, not in Turf War, just everywhere, I guess. I thought Blaster, the Blaster Indirects were supposed to go through bubbles. Pretty sure I saw that. I uh, read that somewhere that Blaster Shots actually kind of counter bubbles. Since the Indirects actually go through the shield. gonna ink up here. God, you're so annoying. Shut up. Nice. Get shit on, idiot. Ah! That thing... The truck opened up at, like, the worst possible time. What? I was swimming away. The tr if the truck just stayed closed, they would have been fucked. No. What? Is that guy lagging? Oh, Splat 1 does also have those trucks? Yeah, I figured. I know that the Spongas weren't there, but... <sighs> oh, there's two Splattershot Pros. That explains it. One of them is definitely lagging. I saw that guy uh, kind of teleport. Kind of fucking dually dodge rolled. Fortunately, that explosion doesn't seem to know what he's doing. Yeah, it's definitely a lot easier to hit your directs with a rapid blaster than any other blaster. Shot velocity is a lot faster, your fire rate is a lot faster. I mean, makes sense, it's called rapid blaster. <laughs> Oh, hey, awesome city kid. Hi. Um, I'm doing great other than the fact that there's a chance that I might have COVID. I got myself tested today. Have to wait at least one day to see the results, but... Yeah. I mean, I don't feel that bad. It feels like I just have a regular cold, but... Still have the- still has that risk, you know? Also, I got my ass kicked in a ranked earlier today, so... Going to Turf War to play- a, to chill out a bit more. Yeah, thanks. Honestly, like, I'm not even afraid of, like, the, um, the actual sickness itself. I'm more so worried about, like, my- my schedule, having to, like, call my job and everything. To, like, tell them, oh, hey, I got- I got- I tested positive for COVID. And then I'm gonna be, like, out of money for, like, a couple of weeks. I'm more afraid of that than, like, the actual, like, symptoms of the sickness. <laughs> kind of the, uh, typical millennial American right now. When you get sick? Oh no, I'm not afraid of being sick, I'm afraid of my finances. What's that- what, what that's gonna mean for my money? Ah, uh, yes, typical ca capitalist America. That's just how it works. If sickness doesn't kill me, the bills sure will. God damn it. Fuck armor. That's enough of being a bad sniper. Unfortunately, you kinda gotta suck before you start getting good again. Every pro sniper out there must have been terrible at one point in his life. Ah, armor, armor! God damn fucking armor! Ah! A junior, my worst nightmare. As a blaster player. 
What the fuck? Oh, I thought you died. I saw that someone nearby died, and I was like, bro, did, how the fuck did you die all the way out here? You know what, I'm just gonna... Hmm, I thought someone was like sharking down there. I'm just gonna harass this charger. <laughs> I'm coming for your ass! You know what? That's a fitting end for both of us. You had a moment where you almost got COVID when attending uni, but thankfully you were negative. Yeah. If I do... If I do get COVID, it's kind of a shocker that... Out of now, now out of all times, the uh, it decides to infect me. Ah, ugh, fucking bomb spam. Junior is my worst enemy. It'd be funny if COVID decides to, like, infect me now, because I've been, like, more of a rec recluse than I've ever been. Ah. Fucking hate. Juniors. Meanwhile, somehow through all this, you haven't gotten it? Lucky. I guess you're lucky, although I was lucky until, like, about a month ago. We're all lucky until we're not. That's just how... That's how playing the lottery that is American healthcare w works. God damn it, I keep sl I, I keep killing someone and then the junior just comes out of nowhere to come and beat me in the back of my head. You didn't even get the COVID shot? <coughs> well, I did get the COVID shot. And good lot of... And well, probably should have gotten the second one. I got the first one, but then of course, it evolved. And now here I am. I, I tested negative last week. I used one of those uh, home testing kits when I first started feeling symptoms, and I tested negative. But then someone who I live with, someone I live with, tested positive for COVID, so now I'm freaking out about it again. I really hope that I actually was negative last time and it wasn't just a shit test. <coughs> because if I've been having COVID for a week, then that's kinda not great. And hello Yoshikaz, I see you in my lobby. The worst you got was the flu at the start of this year. I really hope that what I have right now is the flu, although I don't even have a fever right now, so... Either way, I- whatever- I- I, I just hope it's not COVID. Whatever it is, I hope it's not COVID. Ah, arrow sprays, but at least it's not an annoying armor bot. Hooray! Oh no. Huh. Well. Let's just appreciate the scenery, guys. Let's look at this sign. <laughs> there we go. Hmm. I don't think that's my network because my stream looks fine right now. I'm gonna try joining in with you. <coughs> but, uh... <laughs> Funny how you were complaining about everyone on your team disconnecting Yoshicast, and then the moment you join my lobby and I'm on your team, boop, there I go. Into the ether. Just Thanos snapped. Just God saw me and he was like, yo, go to purgatory now. But yeah, how's everyone doing? Oh, also, let me just. Let me just mention. 
some of my new emotes got approved. I'm waiting. Why is it? There it is. I got a bunch of new emotes for tier one subs. Hell yeah. I think the dead one is really good. I like that one. And also, if you have Franker Face, Franker Face Z downloaded, everyone gets access to the Cat Pog emote. So yeah, I know. Speaking of Franker Face Z, I don't know how they like. How do these wide emotes work? Like the three wide emotes. Like how do they get those to work? Because when I tried uploading my own emotes, it only let me upload the ones that were like with the right dimensions in a square dimension. So I don't know how they got like those wide rectangular ones to work like that. Thirty more seconds. Oh yeah, and also I'm working on some uh, panels for the about section on my page because right now that's that place is looking a little bit barren. So hopefully I can add a bit of a little splash of color there. Add a little splash of color, maybe make it look a lot more professional with some hashtag graphic design is my passion. Honestly, I, the hardest part about doing the about panel stuff, it's not even like drawing things for it. It's like figuring- it's the graphic design. I've never been very good at graphic design. I've always been more of like a portrait artist. But like graphic design just fucking escapes me. I wonder what that barcode leads to. The barcode on the um, on the waiting page. But yeah, here I am, and hopefully I actually stay in the lobby this time. But yeah, I wonder, like, has anyone scanned that barcode and, like, seen where it leads to? Ika Maho? That, uh, level 3 prestige player's name reads, Our Inkling Girl? Question mark? Actually, wait, no, not Inkling Girl. Uh, Inkling Mage, I guess? Mahol. I think that means magic. Inkling Magic. Or I guess if you want to get real technical, Squid Magic. Because I'm pretty sure in Japanese, Inklings and Octolings are just referred to as Squid and Octopi. God, my Japanese really is rusty. But yeah, the reason why I thought it said Inkling Girl is because I was thinking of like Mahol Shoujo, which just means like magical girl. Shoujo means girl, Mahol means magic. So that guy's name, I think, just is like Inkling Magic or Squid Magic. Honestly, would be like would forcing your forcing your enemy to disconnect would that be considered like Squid Magic? Ah, oh, god damn it! Cause like there's gotta be some black magic bullfuckery going on there. Oh, uh, hello, you've invaded my lobby. Nice. Uh, I've forgotten what your in-game name in, is, in Splatoon is. I'm guessing is that you? I think that might be you because you're probably uh going AFK so you could type on Twitch. So I'm guessing that's you. But yeah, let's have a good game. If this brush will stop being annoying for one second. I do need to practice. Like I think probably my biggest problem when playing the blaster is that I keep trying to jump. I keep jumping. Nice. I keep jumping and that makes me hit miss my, all my directs. Also, I should be using my torpedoes more. Try doing the uh, torpedo... The torpedo uh, tech. The one where you force it to like detonate like a burst bomb. I don't know how I didn't die there, but we take those. Nice.
Damn it! I wanted to hit my direct! Kinda wish you could join me in some battles, but you're a little tired? Yeah. Get some rest then. To be honest, I should probably also be resting instead of streaming, because, you know, sick. But, hey. I don't feel like... Barely functional sick. Just a bit of a sore throat kind of sick. God damn it, if I had even sparked him, he'd be dead. Like, I'm still functional, it's just a little bit of a cough, so... Not, I'm doing not, not doing that terribly. Also, that... Jesus Christ, that undercover is, like, surviving right now. There we go, Jesus Christ! There we go. Finally killed someone. Bro, we are... There we go. <laughs> Finally use my baller for something. <coughs> GG's and I got it right? Yeah, I figured. Unfortunately, I sometimes can't keep track of everyone's names in-game and what their Twitch names are. But I mean, I can infer when someone's like AFK so they can type on Twitch. Arrow RNG, I live because of Arrow RNG? Arrow? Arrow? The bow isn't even in, in the game right now, unless you're referring to something else. Oh, you mean arrow, like arrow spray. That's gonna be real confusing. <laughs> in uh, Splatoon 3. People are gonna say arrow on left, and I'm just gonna be like, what? Why? Is there I don't see a. There's not even a bow in this lobby. No, I'm talking about the arrow spray. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, I think callouts are gonna be really confusing. I need to start using my map more. And also I need to stop start spacing myself better and jumping less. Basically I just need to fucking play better. I need to be better at this game in general. <laughs> oh, I got the uh I think this is the annoying brush that kept killing me last time. Damn it. I probably should not be forcing myself in like these difficult situations, but at the same time at the same time, I kind of feel like I have to, or else I won't improve. But at the same time, I might be, like, building, like, bad habits by, like, constantly forcing myself in bad situations. Alright. Just gonna go ahead and ink up that corner. I should probably be training up, like, my gaming- my game awareness, just as well as my mechanical skill. Because rushing into bad situations, that's going to be good for my uh, mechanical skill, but not so much my game awareness. And if... And all pro players agree that, like, good game awareness is definitely a lot more important than, uh... So a lot more important than good mechanical skill. How do I like the Splat 3 Turf 4 gameplay? Bro, I am so fucking excited. It looks so fun. Is there someone here? I'm just like, I want to know when the test fire is, man, or at least like a Splatoon specific direct. Because it feels like we got a bunch of information, but it still feels like we barely know anything about the game. Like, not even just like the, uh, not even just like the uh, multiplayer stuff. Like, I want to know stuff about the uh, single player, what it's going to be like. That's how you get rid of a range blaster, you just get up in its face. Man, like I say, I'm pretty good at my, my weapon matchups, but like, just pretty good at my, my weapon matchups, but like everything else, not so much. But yeah, super excited for the new specials. I'm still standing the crab tank like always. I think it's funny how everyone was like freaking out about how like how broken the um 
the spider squid special was gonna be. But then like once the game the turf war gameplay came out, like everyone was like, Yo, this special looks ass. I just think it's funny. How everyone's like, yo, I can't wait to be spider squid, and then when the gameplay actually comes out, they're like, um, actually no, this special probably sucks. It's good to know that Crab Tank is still as perfect as it looked a day one. Can't wait to become the um the crab rave and dance with my enemies corpses. Do you have a feeling we get more info in August or July? Yeah, they have been drip feeding us like lots of in like information on like the stuff in the trailers through their Twitter accounts, which I think is great. Like I love that we're actually getting information now. Like it's like relatively like trivial information on like oh all weapons are coming back and like about the name tags, but it's it's new information regardless. I don't know, I really hope that, like, once the, once the direct happened, they announced something big. Like, maybe, like, a new ranked mode. Or maybe, like, a new... Like, a new... Just a new mode in general, like Salmon Run. Like, I inherently disagree with the people who are calling Splatoon 3, like, Splatoon 2.5. But at the same time, I kind of see where they're coming from, because Splatoon 3 doesn't seem to have anything, like, big. It doesn't have, like, a big new mode, or, like... Just anything like that. It's got some- sure, it's got some, like, gameplay differences, but, like, to the, your average casual player, like, they're not gonna be able to notice, like, what's different. We need- we got- we need something big, man. We need, like, a- just a big new mode, maybe, a, like, a- another single-player thing? Just something. But I'm definitely excited about the prospect of the, um, the new- the single-player mode. It definitely looks like it's gonna be like open world, like actually open world instead of just like a hub world and then a bunch of like a bunch of like little mini levels. I think that'd be so sick. That guy is so dead. And then I died. Mm, gonna jump to you, please don't kill me. Or get me killed, I mean. Oh shit! Torp torpedo combo. Damn it! Ugh. Rapid blaster may be a rapid blaster, but at the, end of the at the end of the day, it is still a blaster, and it's got delayed shots. Damn it! Ah, I fell. It's the same console. What did I expect? Like, I'm not saying that, like, I wanted, like, different graphical, a uh, different, like, different graphics. I'm saying, like, I want just something different in terms of gameplay. Like, okay, maybe not gameplay, but just, like, a new thing. Like, a new mode, or a new single-player thing. Because, like, in Splatoon 2, the new thing, big thing that we got, that wasn't, like, graphics-related, or, like, Multi like or like competitive related was Salmon Run. And in Splatoon 3, like it'd be cool if we also had something similar. Like maybe like just a new thing like maybe apartments. Or even a stage editor. Cause like to your average like casual player they don't right as of right now they don't really see a reason to get Splatoon 3. If they already have Splatoon 2, basically. Because the game looks the same. The game looks the same, which I'm not complaining because because uh, Splatoon 2 looks great in my opinion. I don't I don't really think there needs to be much of a graphics change. But like in terms of gameplay, just maybe something tangible. Something big and tangible that that we can like really sink our teeth into. That'd be so cool. Yeah, it's just... I don't know, just maybe even an, even something like if you can do, like, special game modes in, a uh, private battles. Like, maybe private battles, there, there would be a thing like, um, infinite specials, or like... Or just, like, everyone is, like, restricted to, like, only using... Only using their kid form and they can't turn into squids. 
just just some big change like that that adds to the game instead of like just making it basically just having the same thing as Platoon 2 except maybe some more movement options. Also, I keep forgetting to use my special because like what the fuck am I going to do with a baller? Squid only mode. I don't know if I don't know if that's gonna work, considering how the point of the game is that you need to shoot your weapon, and you can't shoot your weapon if you're always a squid. All I can do is swim. Ayo, hey, Mario Kart and Splatoon. Yo, squid racing game. It's like that. I know there was like a like an eight bit squid racing game in Splatoon one, but like, what if they brought it back for Splatoon three and made it multiplayer? I mean, Inkling's already in Mario Kart, so, like, it's not that big of a stretch. <coughs> oh shit, I'm dying. Let me think, what's another cool thing they could add in Splatoon 3 that wouldn't, like... That doesn't seem like a pipe dream, basically. Stage editors? Maybe. Stage editors kind of seem a little bit... A little bit of a pipe dream. Sort of. Because maps have to, I mean, the maps have to be in 3D, and making a 3D stage editor would kind of be crazy. Um. Maybe. I was thinking if they had, like, maybe, like, a 2D Turf War type thing, where it was, like, it became, like, a top down twin stick thing. Maybe they add, like, a little. I think that would be pretty cool for, like, a split-screen local. It'd be a pretty cool split-screen split local mode, having, like, a top-down Splatoon twin-stick twin shooter mode. I do hope that they add something for local split- like, something for local split- split- God, I can't fucking speak. Split- local split-screen. Because Splatoon 1 had, like, a mode that was, like, so fucking pointless that they took it away in Splatoon 2 and no one complained. And I think that's so funny. Like, in that aspect- <clears throat> In that aspect, te Splatoon technically, like, removed- Removed the game mode and nobody fucking complained. That was how little people cared about that mode. I just hope in Splatoon 3 they actually replace it with something, like, tangibly good. Let me get up this bitch. Bro, we are moving as a coordinated effort. Until that guy died. Uh, I wanted to paint your feet, but then you died. Damn it. They did not expect you to come from above. <coughs> oh no, we're all dying. Okay, our brush is doing fucking work, I guess. Oh, that guy is so dead. Why did that only count as, as an assist? Come on. Got him. Thank you, bruh. Not brush, brella. There we go. I think we might have taken that back. Yeah, hell yeah, we did. Imagine coughing to death. You can relate. Hey, Use the dead emote. Yes, this is... This is how I'm feeling right now. Let me just spam that a couple times because... Yep, me right now. <coughs> I can't believe I'm dying, guys. This is my last live stream before my funeral. That's right, I scheduled my own funeral. Thank you. 
Thank you for the head pats, Mason. I do need it in this trying time. Although, if you pat my head and I have COVID, well, now you have COVID hands. Congratulations, Mason. You have COVID hands now. As an arrow spray, you're doing work. I mean, you're playing objective. <laughs> It's what Aerospray does best in Turf War. Play objective. And also spamming booyahs. Ooh, we got a hero shot. Fancy. Let's see if I'm gonna be able to splashdown cancel someone with the uh, rapid blaster. I feel like I've been getting better with my uh, splashdown cancels. I'm getting better with my reaction time. What I'm not getting better at is like checking the UI and to see when someone does have the special. I overextended there, that was my fault. I'm uh, just gonna roll the torp there. I know there's like torpedo combos that you can do with the rapid blaster, unfortunately. Ah, uh, damn it. I got trapped. That wall that that wall throw fucked me over. Let's go off to the sides. Probably should have gone with a sub sub saver instead of a whole bunch of main saver, cause Cause well, yeah. <laughs> Got him. Thank you for wasting your bubbles on that little corner there. Ah, I can't get over there now though, so... Hmm, there's someone here? And someone went over there and died. I'm a rapid blast so I can shoot both sides at the same time! No, I should have used my baller earlier. Oh, nice cancel. And canceled that bitch on Twitter.com. Have some tea? Maybe I should. Some honey lemon tea sounds good right about now. Unfortunately, I'm out of honey. We have a lot of lemon, but no honey. I wonder if I dissolve, like, if I dissolve one of these, like, honey lemon cough drops, if I dissolve enough of them in water, will that, like, result in honey lemon tea? It sounds kind of nasty, to be honest. Basically drinking cough syrup at that point. What, really? He shot me there? I don't- I think that was just an indirect and then a direct, but then it would it would have been cool if that was a, um... What? Really? It would have been cool if that was like a torpedo combo. That was unfortunate. I did- I did get some good directs, but... But unfortunately it wasn't good enough. What time is it right now? What? How much longer until the next rotation? About 30 more minutes. Have the match you were spamming burst bombs? I think, I think I got like bombed by you in like the first couple of seconds of the match. But afterwards, I don't remember seeing you run that much. I was too busy fighting your teammates. Hmm. When is the last guy gonna show up? You're doing the same thing as your junior set where you have sub power ups so they go further. 
Honestly, I never really use much of a sub power up unless it's a beacon. I don't know. I guess I just don't really see like the value in like throwing my bombs further. But I probably should start doing that. It's really it, it'd be really good for like short range weapons to allow them to uh, pressure a bit further. But yeah, I usually don't run a I usually don't really run that much sub power up unless it's I have a beacon set. Which I will say super jumping to a beacon with a sub power up is so satisfying. Where's the last guy? Why are we stuck here? Hello? I'm gonna be a DJ now. I'm a DJ now. <coughs> New Splatoon character confirmed DJ Cat Soup. At least for this weapon, it makes it so you have some actual range. Yeah. Burst bombs? Long range burst bombs, I guess. Yeah, it is pretty valuable on something like an arrow spray, which doesn't really have that much killing power. But yeah, I'm stuck in an infinite purgatory! There we go. Waiting around at the speed of sound. That doesn't make sense. What the hell does that even mean? <laughs> Waiting around at the speed of sound. Like, what does that mean? How do you wait at the speed of sound? Gonna close down some open space. Hello, we are both up here. I don't think we should both be up here because we can get taken out by a single bomb. Oh. Oh shit, Yoshikas, you just fucking exploded. Oh god. Should have popped my baller. I keep forgetting that I have a special because nobody uses the baller. The baller isn't very good. How many people are here? Jesus Christ, I keep indirecting them. There we go. Torp time. Torp time again. Torp time. I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm just kind of throwing right now. Oh, they have a they have a disconnect. All right. I can probably play a bit more aggressively then. I'm not gonna spawn camp because I think that's kind of shitty to do when the other team has a disconnect, especially in turf war. But it doesn't mean I'm not gonna push up a little bit. It should be safe to jump to you, right? Right? Right, guys? Gonna roll the torp. Booyah. Again, not gonna spawn camp. Just gonna stay around here. I'm not gonna go in too deep. Just gonna stay around this choke point. Perfectly timed cough. Count down to me coughing my throat out. 
my DJ skills summon the final player? Yeah, it's like that, um... What is it? That what the Azur flute in Legends Arceus? I summon God himself. <laughs> and I only got one kill through that entire thing. You know what? I... I put all my skill into DJing so hard that my... My aim, my ability, to, my ability to aim and get kills just left my body. Don't you guys love this lobby music? Ooh, 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 ooh. God, I can't wait for Splatoon 3, not just because of the game, but because of the music. gonna get like pop punk inspired music although i have been watching a few videos by our rasikas rasikas i don't know how to pronounce their name i'm guessing i think it's rasikas <laughs> diaper eater good player but i've been watching a few videos on from uh, rasikas and i i there was one video where like i i completely forgot but there was like a promotional picture from a uh, koro koro magazine i think where they had like a daft punk reference and it wasn't like an inkling parody of Daft Punk, it was just straight up Daft Punk. Which makes me think, like, is Daft Punk gonna be, like, writing a track for Splatoon? Because if they do, that'd be fucking insane and awesome. But at the same time, like, apparently they're not really... They don't really do collabs that much, so... Seems unlikely, but still, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of strange seeing, like, a direct reference to a real-life musical group in Splatoon. Okay, like, not not just a reference, like, just a direct fucking, like, just fucking name-dropping them, basically. Because Splatoon has tons of references, but they don't really name-drop, like, real-life bands. Ah, uh, he's one hit! All right, that guy's dead. Everyone, everyone who's alive is over here. All right, he's dead as well. Bro, we are moving like a unit, a coordinated unit. Now, though, speaking of Daft Punk, I feel like a, a Daft Punk-inspired soundtrack would make more sense if the uh, if the team that won the final Splatfest was Order. Maybe it might be like. DLC related content? I don't know, it'd be cool, like, if they made, like, DLC for Splatoon 3. Where basically, like, like, basically we're living in the, um, we're living in the Splatlands, which is, like, inspired by Chaos winning. But it'd be cool if they, like, made DLC that was, like, inspired from, like, Order. Like a futuristic city. I don't know, just stuff like this where, like, the final Splatfest, like, actually decides, like, the story for the next game. That stuff just makes- really makes me want to see, like, a what-if scenario for, like, if the other team had won. Alright, Diaper Eater, you better fucking clutch up and help me out with this, uh... Ah, come on! Diaper Eater, you've abandoned me! He was too busy eating diapers. Ah, Stingray and Spawn. I see you are a man of culture as well. That guy's not dead? Oh god, I thought I was dead there for a second. Oh god damn it! If only I directed him. <coughs> oh, okay. And we lost that. Isn't Daft Punk like pretty non-order like? I mean, 
maybe their uh, like their musical stylings probably, but like their overall aesthetic of like two helmet wearing robots fits a lot more with the order aesthetic of like a futuristic like dystopia city. Well, like punk rock fits with like ca chaos, like because it's punk rock. But then like techno. Like, Team Order had more of, like, a techno theme to it, while Chaos had, like, this kind of, like, barbarian, like, Mad Max theme. So, I don't know. I feel like Daft Punk making music for Splatoon would fit in with, like, an Order-based DLC. You gotta go eat dinner? And buy Cat if you still think it's Quat. I mean... If everybody, like, everybody likes to call me, like, Quat. Like, everybody I know in real life. They'll, like, jokingly call me Quat to, like, make fun of my name. But, uh, yeah. Go ahead and eat dinner. And, uh, you'll always find it funny when someone's trying to recover behind a box on par and then a burst bomb comes crashing down on them because you threw it over. <laughs> I mean, every time I try to do that, I always end up missing my arc. Like, I end up, like, accidentally, like, hitting the box instead of, like, the area behind it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just really bad at with fall off. <coughs> I am really sweating right now, but I'm kind of doing it intentionally because, like, I don't know. I kind of- I still kind of have, like, that old, like, wives' tale of, like, oh, if you sweat enough, then you'll heal sooner. Which I'm pretty sure is, like, there's no basis in it, but I don't know. It's got some sort of placebo effect, at least. Ah, uh, yes, me and my best friend, Diaper Eater. Hanging out with the homie, Diaper Eater. <clears throat> Heating my body? Well, yes, I'm bundled up in a blanket. <laughs> no, you intended on using caps. Congratulations, Mason, you've yelled at me. I'm removing your mod status. <laughs> no, just kidding. But actually, no. But for real, no. <clears throat> Let me check on something. Alright. Ah, Dark Octo. I see Shadow the Hedgehog has joined the lobby. Based. Yes, if you if you type at caps at if you type in all caps at me, you get banned. I'm sorry, that's just the rules. Yo, Yusuke from per hit game per hit persona game Persona Five from Persona Creator Atlas Games, the creator of Persona, the series uh, that that has Persona Five. Me acting like Persona Five is the only game that has a character named Yusuke in it. For all I know, they could be referencing Yu Yu Hakusho. What the hell is happening right now? How did- I don't even know how I managed to survive for as long as I did. And also get a kill out of that. But you know, we take those. I thought all the bubbles had disappeared by then. Uh, bro, come on, you got him. Yeah, nice. Are you fucking kidding me? I am so bad at this game, what the fuck? I have a feeling there's someone hiding here. I'm gonna get ambushed, aren't I? Got him. Nice! NICE! That was some good teamwork, my dude. I'll give you a booyah for that. Mm, there's no one over here, it's just a bomb. 
I can see that the dynamo is trying it right now. Oh. You're my teammate. I thought you were the enemy because you were covered in so much purple ink. And also, Yoshikaz just fucking murdered you with a burst bomb, so that's pretty unboggers. I did the funny jump, the funny skipper jump, the ski the funny skipper skip, I guess you could say. A little skip and a hop, the funny little, the funny. Ah, oh, damn it. <coughs> Come on, dude, you can do it. I'm gonna ink up spawn. Ah, oh, no, we're gonna lose. I can't ink up enough turf. To get that back. You're gonna head out and take care of some things, but you'll be looking for a bit. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and now you feel better. Thank you, awesome city kid. Hope you have a great rest of your day. <coughs> Ugh, wear a mask, kids. I am not good with this weapon. Also, there are two holes in my ceiling. Oh, I sure hope that a raccoon doesn't come crashing down and ruin my entire setup. Ooh. You doubt Yusuke would use a sploosh? He would 100... Yusuke would use a uh, paintbrush. Octobrush or inkbrush. Whichever one, whichever one he likes better. He would 100% go for- actually no, he would 100% go for the Kensa Octobrush. He's that- he seems like the kind of person who would like, wear Supreme. And Tony Kenza is like the Supreme equivalent in Splatoon. Damn, half of the lobby just left. It's just me, Yoshikas, Shadow the Hedgehog, and my best friend, Diaper Eater. The man who eats diapers. It's him. Man, you wanna know the worst part? <clears throat> I would not be surprised for to see, like... Okay, maybe... Okay, I would be surprised because Nintendo's collabing with, like, another video game outside of Smash is kind of strange, but, like, Persona 5 Splatoon crossover doesn't seem that, like, unfitting. Because, like, all the red, the, uh, the really cool, like, black, like, shading with black style that Persona 5 has, I don't know, I feel like it... A Splatoon and Persona 5 collaboration would work really well if Nintendo, like, actually did collaborations with other video games outside of Smash. And to add on to that, like, Persona- like, the per base Persona 5 game, it's not even on the Switch. We have, like, Persona 5, like, um, stri Strikers, I think? We have all the Persona 5, like, spin-offs, but not even the base game on the Switch, which I think is kind of insane. We have Joker and Smash, but we don't even have Persona 5. There is something in my eye. You've seen fan art people made for that crossover already? I'm- uh, to be honest, I'm not surprised. Splatoon- uh, Splatoon fans make a lot of, like, Splatoon crossovers with a bunch of obscure video games. Well, not- okay. Not obscure, but, like, just a anything out there. If people are a fan of Splatoon and something else, they have probably made fan art for that crossover. Bro, I wouldn't be surprised if there, if there was, like, Splatoon Dark Souls fan art out there. <coughs> <coughs> really cementing Splatoon as the Dark Souls of shooters. Technically, Persona Q2 is a Persona 5 crossover, but that's 3DS. 
Yeah, I was talking more like, uh, Nintendo franchises collaborating with, like, other game franchises. Like, I guess Mario and Rabbids is, like, the only other big one outside of Smash that I can think of. Which I think is kind of wild, Mario and Rabbids. In an XCOM-style, like, strategy game? Kind of insane. But, like, outside of Smash and Mario Rabbids, is there, like, any other instance of, like, a first-person Nintendo- Like, the first-person, first-party Nintendo property? How did- what? How did he get up there? Like, collaborating with, collaborating with like, some other, like, non-first-party Nintendo property? Thank you for the burst bomb, Yoshicast. Very much appreciated. Oh, also, I realize you guys have a disconnect. Ah. Uh, I fucked up my throw. I'm throwing, literally. Okay, my teammates seem to be doing fine up there. <coughs> okay, I got fucking comboed. I got comboed with the burst bomb and the, uh, sloshing machine. Oh shit. I was too busy looking at the map. Let's go ahead and help out down here. Thank you for the armor, my friend, my buddy, my pal. Nice splashdown. Push him, my friend. Push him. What? Where is he? Oh, did he jump back? God damn it. Yeah, he must. I think he jumped back. I'm gonna jump to you. Just gonna blast a bit up there. Gonna ass blast up there. Well, bro, he's so weak. There we go. Nice. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <coughs> hey, for a team that has a disconnect, you guys did pretty good. You guys were holding your own for quite a bit. We almost. I think we almost lost there. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Only one kill. I really need to step up, step up my blaster game. It's just us four again. Shadow the Hedgehog, Diaper Eater, Yoshikas, and me. Oh. Just and don't mind me just ripping open another cough drop. Oh. Well, I guess this is about time for me to do my other ranked placement. What is it? Splat zones. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. So, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to stop doing turf war here. However, depending on how well the placements go, I might just end up going straight back to turf war. So, we'll just have to see. Where is my... Where is it? Where is it? Where is she? Here it is. 
and where? <coughs> Here's the one I like to use. Oh, that's why you said you might be your placements? Oh, I thought you meant er earlier that you meant you were uh, playing some Rainmaker. But yeah, we might end up meeting in uh, Splat Zones. Let's go ahead and grab another experience... thing. God, Krusty Sean, why does he look so tasty? I would eat him. I would cannibalize Krusty Sean. Ah, <sighs> Port Mackerel and Skipper. Ah, uh, yeah, you said it was the same- the same maps. Oh boy. Skipper I'm not too nervous about because there's a lot of really good walls that I can slosh over on that map, but Port Mackerel... Mmm, a little less... a little less confident about that one. Best of luck in my placements, I know I'm gonna need it. Hopefully I'll actually be able to complete my placements and not just like chicken out in the last second, like a like a little bitch. Good comp. Oh, we got a 52 gal, of course we do. Oh shit! We're on the same team! Yo! That's pretty poggers. You know what? I believe. I believe in the power of friendship. Let's win this. Nice. I would love to s I would love to squid bag with you, however, not in ranked. Maybe once we're close to winning, but right now, let's take this a bit seriously. And thank you. Oh shit. Nice! Yo! That was a fucking great play on my part. I mean, technically I just fucking panic ballered, but still. Yo, we are doing work, my friends. Oh shit. I'm dead. I don't know how this guy got over here, but he did. But he's dead now, so... Come on, guys! Don't let my hard work go to waste! Yes! I knew it! I knew we could believe in the power of friendship. And then watch us completely get reverse swept. Ah. Oh no. I mean, I'm baller. Are you kidding me? Oh no, we're gonna- we are gonna get reverse swept. Oh god. Damn it! Nice! Come on guys, just put put a big old penalty penalty on them. Oh we're losing it. Oh no, we're losing it. Come on, Yoshikas, I believe! Oh no. This is not very poggy woggy, bros. Oh no. Ah. That was unlucky. That was sad. That made me sad. That was really unlucky. We almost had it! Uh, I think we got overconfident near the end, and we started feeding. We got overconfident, and then when they started scoring, we kind of panicked and started feeding. That was unlucky. There was so much rain. Are we in the same lobby again? Hey, we are! No, oh, that guy's name is Eat My Paint. 
Oh, a good tuber in X rank. Interesting. You don't see that all day. Okay, I need to position better. Nice. Put some points on the board. I'm going to be a bit smarter about my... About my paint. Ah, damn it. I'm gonna paint around this area, just to make sure that we actually have a good escape route. I'm gonna hide from the inkjet. Because, you know, bad matchup and all that. Kind of the worst matchup possible. For, uh, Explosher. Gonna paint up over here, so nobody tries anything funny. Oh shit, I choked on my own saliva. <coughs> I'm getting the fuck out of here. Oh shit. That was a good shot from the charger. Oh, the goo tuber. I keep forgetting this. the goo tuber is the one in the lobby. Uh, let's not... Let's approach from the top. We're gonna have to lose some points for that. But I think it's the only... It's the safest... It's the safest method that we have. <coughs> I have baller. I'll baller on the zone at the first side of trouble. Alright, I'm gonna chase him back. I'm gonna close out this entire area. That was a pretty smart baller. Using it to control space instead of chasing enemies. Alright, feed my baller! Oh no, I am dead. I'm dead. Alright, our pro is doing a little flanky flank. Alright, nice. Put some points on the board. Don't die. Nice, nice. Good shit. Gonna try to play smart. Ah, uh, damn. This is bad. I think we have to approach from the top again. We should go to the left. I think they basically shut down our... That side. So we have to approach from this side if we have any chance of getting in. We might lose lead again, but it's fine. It's the only chance that we have of not feeding. Nice. Oh no! Come on guys, you can do it! I'm gonna approach down this way because we... Really? I got caught on the fucking... Oh no. I have to go from the top. Damn it. Nice! I don't know how I'm, un I'm alive right now, but I am. Oh, I'm so dead. I died on the zone! Come on, guys, we can do this! We can do this, guys! Come on, I believe! Oh, God damn it, the booyah bomb. Our, our pro is doing good, but they didn't do good enough. Ah, oh, that's disappointing.
That's disappointing. We got so close yet again. I think I might be playing too passively. I should be pushing up a lot more. Ugh. <coughs> 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 All right, let's make this third round good. Also, I'm using Respawn Punisher. I should be a lot more passive. But then I should also be pushing up more. I should be playing more passive when we have a disadvantage, but we should be pushing up more when we have an advantage. You're doing your best, we're all doing our best. Right now I'm mostly trying to like pick apart my own gameplay, because to be honest, I'm don't really have the uh the attention span to focus on more than and anyone other than myself right now when it comes to gameplay. So I don't I can't really tell well how you've been doing. I'm kind of hyper focusing on my own gameplay. Alright, oh shit, they already got a death. Good, good. Scare them off a little bit, nice. Oh shit, why do they have double booyah? I don't know how they just fucking skipped over me, but I'll take it. For a second I thought that Explosha was the one who Booyah bombed. Ah shit, I should've bollered. Oh, we have a disconnect, of course we do. God damn it. This is the second rank game I had today that has a disconnect in it. Still gonna try my best. Might go well, might not. Probably not. The tent is a pretty big player. Nice. I'm gonna start pushing up more. Because I kinda have to if I... I have to push up because of this disconnect. Oh, my nose itches. I'm running back because I need to scratch my nose and if I, if I do it in just enemy territory, I'm gonna fucking die. Ugh, bubbles. Splatling not fucking die. Well, he is dead now. I'm sorry, I can't protect you. Oh my god, I'm playing my fucking heart out. This just this just makes it suck even more, because I know that if we didn't have that disconnect, we probably would have won by now because of how good we're playing just in general. Ah, oh, man, that sucks. No, oh, he's gonna booyah bomb me. <coughs> uh, damn. Oh, hello, Octojohn123. Um. Wonder what the key smash is for, but hello. I'm very sick. As you can probably tell. Ah, oh, that is disappointing. God, Atlas, come on, man. Fix your internet. I 
Got two lobbies in a row, wild? Yeah. I think it's funny how, like, first thing I did, first game of this rotation, just boom, here we are, again. Here we are, performing for you. If you know the words, you can <coughs> rap along too. Put your hands together. I don't, I don't remember what the rest is. <coughs> I know it's blasphemy. I don't know the lyrics to the DK rap. The duck rap. The crap. All right, three games in a row, and I've already lost all of them. Oh, what the fuck? Why are there three Hydras in this lobby? What the fuck? This is such a weird fucking team comp. Nice. Alright, the last guy... Super jump back. They're gonna be coming- they're gonna be approaching from the top. So... Just gonna... Go over here. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, I got- I lured the missiles onto the zone. Oh god, what the hell is that guy doing here? He's so dead. He is so dead. Kill him. Thank you. Damn it. Uh, I feel like we're gonna win this. What? Is someone dead? No. I feel like we're gonna win this, but not because we're just better, but because the other team just has a really bad fucking comp. You know what? I'm your backline now. Congratulations. I'm the backline of your of your team now. You can't do anything as long as I'm here, so I'm just gonna stay here and make you target me instead of the zone. Damn it! You know what? It's fine. I stalled out their backline. Damn it. I'm just gonna continue shooting this area. And then I'm gonna ball her in. Oh my god. There we go. Damn it. Oh, I'm so close to my baller. Three losses, not a great start. Yeah. I also have three losses under my belt. Really hope that this doesn't end up being a fourth, because we should not be losing this round, especially with with a comp that the enemy team has. Gonna ball her in. I am trying my absolute damnedest to reclaim this zone. Oh my god. Come on, guys. This keeps happening. We do. We have an amazing start, but then we start choking and feeding near the end. Let's 
just gonna continue painting the floor. I'll paint the floor Hydra UB Agro. I'm just gonna keep painting because that's what I do best. I'm leaving. Nice. Oh no! Come on, guys! No! Oh, please don't let this be another loss. I can't. I can't deal with four losses in a row. Come on! No! Oh, really? No. Oh, we choked. We choked at the end. Maybe I should be using last ditch effort. Because this keeps happening. The same thing keeps happening. We go. We have a great start, but then we end up losing at the last second. So it's probably something consistent with my playstyle, or at least with my gear. Let's go ahead and see if I have any good last-ditch effort gear. Okay, this one has some last-ditch effort and main power. Ma not main power. Ma main uh, saver. Let's go ahead and switch this out for some. Because I don't want to use a uh, two two gear exclusives. Where is my main saver? Where, where the fuck is it? Hello? Oh, here it is. Swim speed. There we go, I think that this might be... This might work a little better. It was close, but you won one? Nice! <coughs> <coughs> Hopefully after I've changed up my gear set, this one will be... a bit more effective. Nozzle nose, interesting. Let me get up this wall. Ah, oh, of course I already have a dead teammate. Gonna back up and stay behind this wall. I'm out of ink. Nice. Gonna... Oh god, two ink jets. That's kind of scary. God, last ditch effort. Hopefully this makes it so well... I don't... That I don't die in the last few seconds of the match again. Oh, well, not die, but like, fucking throw and start feeding. All right, Inkjet, I've tagged him. <coughs> I've tagged him, now bag him. <coughs> Gonna wait out the Inkjet. Oh, I'm the only one left alive. Nice, nice beacon. I'm just gonna keep the zone alive. Does keep the zone alive, keep the dream alive, boys. Nice. 
They, if they even think of climbing that sponge, they're fucked. Right, got him. Oh, I'm just a paint bot right now. I don't think I've even killed a single person, but I've just been keeping the zone painted. There we go. Oh, finally, a win under my belt. Okay, I think keeping last ditch effort was the good call. I think switching out my uh, respawn, not res yeah, respawn punisher with a uh, last ditch effort that was that was the right choice. Because I noticed that I ran out of ink a lot less often there, so definitely the thing coming in clutch. <coughs> Haven't been on port yet also, and then we lose immediately. F. It's the law of equivalent ex exchange. You win one, you gotta lose one. Unless you're like, God and you defy the laws of physics, like dude or kiver or s s some, some shit. Alright. I just hope, really hope last ditch effort just comes in clutch now. Plus one aim, thank you Mason, I'm gonna need it. I like how having the plus one aim there, like it makes sense in Splatoon, but then in something like Alien Isolation, where it's more of like a stealth game, it doesn't really do anything, so it's kind of funny when like, I'm doing shit in like, a game that doesn't require aiming and someone redeems plus one aim. I don't know, I think that's kind of funny, a little goofy, a little quirky. Gonna get up here again. Oh shit. It's a good, um, special sub power up jump. Oh god. He's gonna booyah bomb me. That's fine. Nice booyah. Ah, oh, shit. Come on! God, I shot in front of him and I shot behind him, but then the little patch of ink that he was actually in, he just fucking hid there and just beamed me. That's so unlucky. Also, why am I swimming back? I should be using the beacons. Unless the swoosh is just going around destroying them, which is... seems most likely. I don't see the sploosh trying to do anything funny. I, should, I really need to start checking the map more often. I'm keeping them at bay. Come on, ink the zone. Ugh. Bro, this is such a fucking intense fight. Oh god. Okay, killed someone at least. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh, that little patch of orange ink fucked me over. Sub power up, nice. Oh, god damn it. No, oh, we lost the lead. Damn. This is so risky. Alright, not gonna waste my special just yet. 
Okay, gonna run away from the zone. So that they don't get any paint on it. Gonna paint this area. Also, there's someone over here. Okay. Uh, damn it! <coughs> nice beacons. <coughs> really, really, really nice, actually. This shit's gonna come in clutch. Come on, swim, bitch! Oh, this is such an intense game. Uh, God, I got fucked over by the bamboo. Ah, uh, they found the beacons. Ah, uh, we're dead. Mom found the be beacon drawer. I need a baller in. Come on. As soon as you get into port, you face a blob. This is arguably worse than my last casual... Ca calculations, I'm guessing you're trying to say? Calculations so far? Yeah, I felt, take it from me. Fighting this blob was real fucking annoying. Alright, that's five losses and one win. I lose one more time, I'm not gonna finish these placements. I do think that last ditch effort is doing better for me than a uh, respawn punisher though. <coughs> Just feeling my forehead. Making sure that I don't have a fever or something. I don't think I have a fever, but neither does the the person who says that I live with that got COVID, so... I don't know. That ends up if ends up as being a paint bot right now. But I can be a paint bot too. Oh god, blob moment. Top 10 anime blob moments number one. Blob blobber number two. Blob blobber number three. Blob blobber. Bro, you what the fuck did you think was gonna happen? You see the smart thing that ends up could have done was hide and use the sponge as cover. I'm hiding. Well, at least I killed him. Bro, don't get me killed. Thank you. I'm just trying to be a paint bot right now. My teammates need a kill, and I just need a paint. Ugh. And my teammates would not die. I think that would also be very good. I think it would also be very poggers. Really? That was the worst time Tenta Missile in existence. Oh, my teammates are feeding. Oh, well, I'm not gonna finish my placements. I'm gonna continue playing, because, like, why not? But I'm not finishing these placements.
Hey, at least I won one match. It's not gonna be a game of nine L's, at least. Oh, each of us only got two kills. That's kind of sad. reading an article where apparently uh, XQC admitted that he has a gambling addiction. Which is sad, but like... I mean, yeah, it's, it's just sad. There's no buts. Ah, oh, fuck! Okay, now that's sad. But apparently I think it's like... I think it might be like... If it, if it was like in the millions though, maybe it might be, be like actual like casino gambling. If it was like online gambling, then that's like real sad. But if it's like... Shit like casino stuff, then like... Yeah, that's just- that's how they get you. Casinos, that uh, that is. It's how they- it's how they get your money. They... Basically, get you to have get you into a gambling addiction, and then they just take your money from there. So, lesson to learn today, kids: don't gamble. <coughs> <coughs> to be fair, though, like loot boxes, loot boxes are basically like a gateway drug to like being a gambler. So. Oh my god, are you really- Really? Uh, at least he died. Kids can't gamble. I mean... Not like in a cons casino, but like if people are doing- still doing loot box shit. I don't know, I'm just kinda- It's kinda scummy, just how anything that like profits off of gambling. Like, they pretend to care, they give you, like, uh, gambling helplines. They give you, like, helplines for, like, oh, if you're suffering, suffering from a gambling addiction, please call this number. But at the same time, like, they're still- at the end of the day, they're still profiting off of the addictions. It's like... Like, it's basically like a politician donating money to charities for, like, for to like politicians donating like tons of money to the Trevor Project, right? Like charities that like help gay kids, but at the same time they still vote for like they still like push for laws that like that like let make their lives worse. Like they treat the symptom, but they perpetuate the uh, the base problem. And at the end of the day, they continue to profit off of it. It's basically kind of the same thing for, like, gambling. Basically anything that profits off of, like, gambling addictions. But, like, they still do, like, a thing like, Oh, here's a gambling helpline, you should call this if you have an addiction. Because of loopholes around the law? Yeah, it's like... It's like the same amount of, like, oh, we care as, like, cigarettes putting, like... Pictures of like diseased lungs on their boxes. Like, we don't actually care about lung disease. Like, we're just putting this here because we're legally obligated to, basically. Come on. I don't know. What? Does he have object shredder? No, he doesn't. I don't know how that hammer popped me so fast. Oh, 
Oh, nice! Okay. Last ditch effort, you better come in clutch. Come on, let's do this. Okay, I need to get aggressive now. Booyah. Oh my god, really? Ugh, I got caught between the splashdown and the hammer. Oh, this is so bad. Bro, you better do fucking work. Yo, nice! Oh my god, I almost fucking died there. There we go. Woo! Ah, <clears throat> uh, yes. Winning a ranked match while in a deep converse- well, not conversation, but a deep discussion about the effects of gambling and the systems that profit off of the addictions. Mm, yes. Prime stream material. Oh man, oh, that- that one teammate who, like, slaughtered e the enemy team while the rest of us were dead? MVP of that match, holy shit. Oh, that was a that was a note that I just hit there. All right. Definitely feel like last ditch effort is helping me a lot more now. Also, we got a sploosh on our team, so we know that guy's gonna be real fucking annoying to the enemy team. And he died. Damn it! <coughs> oh, the rest of my team just fucking died. Aw, oh, come on, we have a disconnect too? Come on! <coughs> uh, you know what? Just fucking... Just take, take the L. We're not gonna win with a disconnect. On. Jesus, die. Whew. I'm gonna paint around a bit more. How did that arrow spray not die? Bro, he was just staring at me. One win, seven losses, that's enough zones for you. Yeah. Actually, depending on- wait, this is my second disconnect. Let me check my um win-loss ratio after this match. Cuz 
like depending I I knew there was a disconnect earlier. I don't remember how many matches I've I'm at right now, but depending on the amount, maybe there is still a chance that I can that I can get a good placement. <coughs> get shit on? Jesus Christ, why is everyone after me? I have to do this. Ah. Alright, let's check the stats. How the fuck is this worse than my first placement that had six losses? I'm guessing you faced a lot of a lot more uh, low level teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I had seven losses. Two of them were ties. Oh, well. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna fix I don't think that's gonna fix my rank. Those two disconnects that counted as a draw. I don't think that's gonna do anything for me. So let's go back doing what I was doing in Tur 4. <coughs> oh, my muscles are starting to ache a little bit. Maybe I do have COVID. I should probably have more sub sp sub saver. Sure. In shoes, let's do... Sure. I don't really need... Maybe I do, whatever. Let's go with this. But these are around 2,000 power, and I had one match last month around 2,200, but you don't remember if you won or not. Hmm. I don't know. The uh, X power... The way they determine X power is so finicky. Ah, oh, my muscles are starting to ache a little bit. <sighs> Maybe I... I really hope it's not actually COVID, but it might actually end up being that. Ah, oh, damn. Wahoo! Number 15, Wahoo World. The last thing you want in your Wahoo World is someone else's foot fungus. I don't know why I decided to do the chills voice there for Wahoo World. I don't know what it is about Wahoo World that just like made my monkey brain go burr. Damn it. Ah. Uh, wait. Was this guy in my Tier 4 lobbies earlier? I don't know, I remember seeing someone with like a name that started with A. A name that started with A and like some triangles in the name as well. Oh my god! Got him. Whew, that was... That I should not have won that. Oh, come on! He just needs one more shot! There we go. Thank you. To whoever saved my ass there. Give me up, please. Thank you. Oh my god, I gotta wait here. Oh my god, he's so close to death! Oh god. Nice. Oh wait, shit, that wasn't the brush. Got him. Uh that was a very delayed uh death splatted screen, so don't know what happened there. Got him. Got him. I'm gonna hang back a bit, cause it's pretty risky business for me to be up here as a rapid blaster. Doesn't seem to be anyone at our spawn. So I'm just I'm just gonna play back line and shoot at anyone who slips through the cracks. Oh god, everyone's dying. That might be soon. I'm gonna have to do backline shenanigans very soon.
Oh, shit. That man directed me. Oh, okay. <coughs> that was a pretty good round. Sub, hello, Owl Caddick. I am sick, as you can probably hear. I feel like I mentioned that to everyone who comes in, just because my vo Listen, my voice sounding fucked up is because I'm sick. I don't always sound like this, I promise. Take a moment to breathe and grab a drink, yeah. Seven losses from, uh, from placements. Definitely, probably... Uh, warrants having to cool off a little bit. Also, I have so many fucking unwrapped cough drop wrappers on my table right now. Let me clean, give me a second, clean that up. I'm trying to decipher what that level 29's name is. Is it IQA Nanas? Or is it Sika Nanas? Like, is that. Is that supposed to be like a fancy S, or did they just put it there because they thought it looked cool as a symbol? Hope I get well soon. Yeah, I hope I do with, do as well. I just hope that it's just like the flu and not COVID. Because one is preferable. Hmm. <laughs> Wahoo! Mario. Mario moment. Let's see, they got a hero shot, so that means they got a splashdown. Looks like they're the only splashdown in this lobby, so gotta pay attention to them. Make sure that I don't get surprise shat on. Alright, you go ahead and do that. That is the saddest Booyah bomb I've ever seen. Oh, that guy is so fucking dead. <coughs> oh god! Yo, my teammate is- my teammates are going ham. Oh, my nose itches. Just corner you down here. Got him. God, Rubber Blaster feels so nice. Like, I actually feel like I have mobility compared to, like, the other blasters. Oh, god damn it. The bridge closed. Oh, god. Oh, he's so weak. Why is he aiming at me? There's, like, two other people shooting at him. Don't get me killed, please. Thank you kindly. Got him. I got your back, fam. Got him. I kind of did a torp combo there. Nice. <coughs> oh, I just coughed directly into the mic. Hope that wasn't too loud. Oh, that guy's so dead. Oh, that guy's also so dead. Bro, these guys are feeding kind of feel bad, but at the same time, like, I'm not really spawn camping, though, so... Not really spawn camping them, so... Don't feel that bad. Got him. Got him. I'll protect your jump. Booyah. 
Might as well just use my baller once. <clears throat> Ooh, there we go. That cough deafened you? Good. I hope you never hear again. I hope you hear. N I hope you never hear anything ever in your life ever again. Congratulations, Masons. <laughs> Masons. Mason, you're disabled. Uh, yes, multiple Mason. Let's see, what day is it? Kinda hope it's COVID, cause then that means I get to rest and I don't have to work. Because I do kinda- even if it's not like COVID, I still feel like shit. I don't wanna work. But like, if it is COVID, it's gonna be a huge pain in the ass to like figure out what to go- where to go from there, in terms of like, my finances and work. And also, hello Yoshikaz, I see you're in my lobby. Looks like that level 61 really likes money. AAC is still using the uh, Aerospray PG. I'm still using the Rapid Blaster. I actually have never have used the- never really used the NZEP that much. Which is surprising. Uh, let me aim above- Ah, uh, damn it! I kept hitting the shield. I was trying to aim like slightly above the shield so that the shots would like hit the person behind it. But... Aiming a little bit too low. I wasn't even jumping either, so I don't know what the hell was going on there. There's another person here. I thought I had point sensor for some reason. Ah, I knew it! Whoever is jumping to me, you are so dead. Oh wait, they're the dualies, so I guess not really, but they still end up jumping back. So, smart. God damn it! Why is everyone here?! like Smash Bros. Everyone is here. There we go. Now I fucked over that, uh, Tentabrella. That's how you fuck him over. We have the- he's bothered to escape here. Well, I killed someone. There we go, Jesus. <coughs> A little booyah for you, my friend. Yeah, that brother, the moment they saw me, they knew they fucked up. Nice. Come on, we can totally take this back. I 
I'm not quite sure how that round went. Hopefully we won? It's gonna be close. Oh shit, we- oh my god, by one point, holy shit. One point, yo. Bruh. That was so good. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Stupidest match ever, yeah. Bro, they were in our spawn at one point. Feels good to actually win the match from them. <coughs> Ugh. I got some pretty good kills there. That Tentabrilla, I th I th it's funny, the Tentabrilla, the moment they like... The moment they realized that I knew how to kill them, I think they kind of like realized that fighting me was a pretty bad matchup. You only had two Booyah Bombs that match? That's how dumb it was? Yeah. For an arrow spray, only spamming the special twice. And yet still winning. That's what makes it dumb. <laughs> Got him. I know how to fight Tentabrilla now, don't- don't try me. Got him. Hell yeah, splashdown cancel! With a rapid blaster. That's how you know you've made it. When you splashdown cancel someone with your weapon, that's how you know you're good with it. Damn it. Yeah, I was screwed there. There's a Nautilus coming from the left. I'm jumping to you, please don't get me killed. What? I was nowhere near that. Oh god, they're all here. Nice. Nice. Oh! That direct mattered, I guess. <laughs> Let's jump to you, don't kill me. Oh god, I'm dead, aren't I? Oh no, I, I teleport back here, so... Pog. That's so fucking dumb. It's kind of stupid how Torpedo kind of acts as like a hard counter to uh, Inkjet. Speaking of which... Come on, that guy should have died at least. <clears throat> They're all here! That's gonna be close. Not quite sure how that match turned out. Ah, we lost. Damn. <sighs> the sploosh was lagging? Yeah. I splashdown canceled him and the marker for me get splatting him uh, popped up a couple frames later than I think it should have. But hey, we lost, but I still managed to splash down cancel someone with the rapid blaster, so I count that as a win.
You're shocked he hasn't DC'd yet? I mean, he's a sploosh, so like, I feel like it's impossible to play as a slu sploosh without like, a sloosh, without lagging somewhat. Let me check something. Good splooshes are like good rollers. They don't have good internet. <laughs> they either have good skill or they have good internet. No in-betweens. I hope they don't bring this bat map back for Splatoon 3 because I don't think this is a well designed map. <coughs> <coughs> Shit, I got sniped. <coughs> Get a super jump to you because I feel like you're the only person who's safe right now. Oh god, he's a splashdown bot. That's the worst kind of sploosh. Jesus, that. Charger's pretty good, actually. <laughs> Get sniped twice. That charger's pretty good. But it looks like he was actually, like, killing people, so... Yeah, he probably was pretty good. Ah. Someone's booyah bombing. And I know where they're gonna booyah bomb. And I have my special. Hey, I did the torp combo! Nice, nice. Reticle was right on top of you. How did that not... How did that not hit? <coughs> Just gonna clean up this area because I don't want any flanky flankers doing anything funny here. I should also be using my baller a lot more. No, I didn't even spark you! I hit the ground right next to you, I should have sparked you, at the very least. Okay, good jump. And that guy's dead. Oh, we have a disconnect. Looks like the sploosh finally disconnected. I'm just here to ink turf. <laughs> Did we actually make that back? I don't think so. No, there's way too much purple. Yeah. I did I did kill two people at the very end there. We could have made that back, but unfortunate. I want to learn how to use the torpedo better. Because I know, like, a torpedo indirect plus a direct shot from the blaster will result in death, I'm pretty sure. Mm. More cough drop. I 
Lemon Venom. Interesting name, considering how I'm sucking on a uh, lemon... Honey Lemon Cough Drops. Why does my team get all the chargers? Well, at least I got the good charger who kept sniping me last time. Nice. Bro, he can snipe a fucking ink brush? I think that constitutes being a good charger. Is there someone here? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, nice. Oh my god, I ran out of ink, really? I hate ink brushes. Nice. Oh, we have the scuffer. I thought I heard the scuffer and I thought that was on the enemy team and I was like, oh shit. Come on, shoot me. gonna ink up mid a little bit. Uh, someone needs to paint up that part of the, part of our spawn. I'm just gonna paint because you know turf four. That's like the whole point of this game mode. Oh, that guy is so dead. No. Nice. Come on, I didn't even get a fucking assist for that. No one ever spawn right now. He's one hit! He's so close, you can get him inkjet, nice! Also, I'm gonna ink up this area. Because someone has to. <laughs> Yet again, didn't use my baller a single time. I honestly I have no idea how we won with two chargers. Thanks, Splattershot, for giving up in the last 30 seconds. You mean the Splash Omatic? Or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately unfortunately for you, our E leader was. I think it was the E leader who was doing like killing everyone. Yeah, I think our E-leader was just really good because I, I remember like I remember one of the chargers shot like a running ink brush, so someone on our team knew what I what, knew what they were doing. Mm. Oh man. I have the E-leader, the good charger on our team. Again, I think they're using the Bamboozler this time, right? Yeah, they're using the Bamboozler now. This guy's pretty good. Oh, 
Oh my god. Holy shit, I fucking slaughtered. I was fucking slaughtering there. I was going in for the kill. God damn. Nice try, Yoshikas. I'm going in for the kill. Splash down on one side, baller on the other. What are they gonna do, huh? Got him. Hmm. God, I hate that brush. There's someone here. Nice try. No! Oh god. I directed him. <clears throat> Why am I always like the last person to die? Ah, annoying ass brush. Okay, now he's dead. I know someone's over here. Oh no, the sprinkler, what the fuck? The sprinkler fucked me over. And that's words that I never expected to say. Got fucked over by the sprinkler. They placed it like directly in my escape route. So I couldn't swim away. You know what, we lost, but that's fine. Because I got some pretty damn good kills. Clutch sploosh kill by yourself. Yeah, I'm guessing the sploosh. I think the sploosh actually uh, jumped off the map at the end because I saw like an X inside, like out of bounds on the map. I think that might have been the same shooter that you said gave up in the last 30 seconds that ma the previous match. But you know, I'm not even mad at losing these rounds because I'm getting good experience and I'm doing pretty damn good. The one thing I still need to practice is just like hitting my directs and not jumping. Not jumping and hitting my directs in that order. What time is it right now? 7.20, so about 40 more minutes. And then I'll end the stream. Look at that jellyfish juggling in the background. He's just vibing, having the time of his life. I gotta say, I really love the amount of detail that they put into like the background of these stages. Like they didn't have to make them as detailed as they did, but they but they did, so props to them. Is the brush still here? Also, someone else is also using the rapid blaster, I think. Fun. Oh my god, I hate this fucking brush. It's so annoying. 
I just want to kill this brush. Shut up, dualies. I just I just want your brush. So just give your brush to me and we will we will sign a peace treaty. Come on, you got him, Yoshikas. Oh, that wasn't that wasn't you, Yoshikas. I thought it was you because there was a booyah bomb. Turns out it was someone else entirely. I think you're actually on the other team. So doubly whoops. Oh my fucking god! There we go, Jesus. Baller clutch. Yeah, fuck you, brush. That's what you get, brush. Ah, damn. Oh no, everyone's dying. Come on, my rapid blaster friend, you better clutch this out. Nice! Nice! Yo, my... My rapid buddy. Fucking doing work out here. No! Oh, he was one hit. He's so close to death, just tap shot him to death. Ah. Uh. Come on, you got it. You got this. There we go. Nice. Good good kill, Squiffer. I guess I'm riding the fucking merry-go-round. Nice try. No, I tried to ball her. Oh, this fucking Junior is so annoying. Fuck Juniors. All my homies hate Juniors. That's right. If you have the same name as your father, fuck you. Actually, now that I think about it, there are never, like, I've never I've never met or like even seen a girl with like the junior suffix. Like think about it, you always hear like fucking like Tom not Tom like fucking John Smith Jr. or like I don't fucking know male names, fucking the Mick Mick Sleeve McDigal Jr. from the fucking badly translated baseball game, but then like you never hear like Mary Jr. or like Elizabeth Jr. It's strange. Hi, ah, I like office chair, but with office spelled incorrectly. You know what? Someone should break that trend. Someone should name their daughter, like, the same name as their mother, and then slap a junior on the end of it. Fucking hate juniors. No, damn it. Fucking hold ZR and walk forward type, <coughs> type behavior. Bro, you better just run. Yeah. Oh shit, we have a- there's two aerosprays in this lobby. Nice try, glue guys. Yeah, it is the glue guys. Come on! If I had directed that first shot... Oh, come on. I need to start rolling my torps. There we go. Nice bubble. Nice. I need to start like- st I need to do like start every single interaction by rolling my torpedo. Nope.
Oh god, I'm so dead. Nice. Fuck that junior, I hate juniors. All my homies hate juniors. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Just need to roll him over. Uh, I wanted to roll that torp. Don't get me killed, please. Thank you. You didn't get me killed. Is there anyone here? Doesn't seem like it. Nice try, Yoshikas. Ah, damn it. If only I directed him. I feel like a lot of these are just... Oh, if only I directed him. Yes, I feel like if every single shot I hit was a direct, I think I would be... I think I would, wouldn't be losing right now. <clears throat> ah, that was annoying. Muscles are really starting to ache a bit more. <sighs> Man, I'm starting to feel like regardless of whether or not I do have COVID, I might not be able to go to work tomorrow anyways because of because of how bad this is, whether it's the flu or something else. Jesus. You wonder how many people I've annoyed today with sniping them with burst bombs? Let me tell you, it's at least one, because <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, arrow spray PG. Burst bomb was definitely a good choice for the arrow spray. Suction bomb? Suction bomb also good, but I think what's the what's the last special Oh, sprinkler. Yeah, sprinkler was a really fucking weird choice. <laughs> Because the arrow spray is basically just a walking sprinkler, so why would you give it another sprinkler? Hopefully in Splatoon 3 they actually give all the weapons, like, good kits. No more of the fucking- I don't want to see another fucking, uh, splash down a hydra type shit. I think the logic behind this- the splash down hydra is that they wanted people to, like, use splashdown if someone got too close like they wanted this they wanted the people with the splashdown hydra to use splashdown as a panic button but like splashdown is fucking terrible so nice oh shit i'm gonna go this way because i am so low on health you got him nice Oh god. Oh, do we have a baby in the lobby? Oh shit. I wasn't looking at my screen. I should have been able to hit that. Oh, that inkjet is so dead. Or not. Oh yeah, it's the glue guns, I'm pretty sure, right? So they have a free dodge roll. Get out of jail free card after the inkjet. Got him. That's what you get for playing Dynamo. Oh no, I'm out of ink, really. Fuck, fine. Coming after you, bitch. Oh, 
Oh god. Come on, there we go. Oh, he's so weak. Come on. There we go, Jesus. Come on, give me my baller, thank you. Just gonna spam baller, don't mind me. Oh, come on. I, also, I just said spam baller, I meant spam my torpedo. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god! Can I hit a singular direct on the slowest weapon in the game? Can I aim, por favor? Oh my god, really? Oh my god, I legitimately cannot aim. <coughs> Spinkler, yes. <coughs> the Spinkler arrow spray. Like, it's funny, but it's not good. Just because a set would be funny does not mean it should be good. Also, our junior was throwing. And that explains things. Ah, <sighs> annoying. Also, god, my aim was so bad there, I couldn't even hit the fucking dynamo roller. Like, bro, if you can't hit a dynamo roller, what the fuck are you doing? <coughs> Data monkey? Having bad aim? Yes. I need I need to someone to redeem a plus one aim. Cause like I can't even I can't even direct the dynamo. And it's just like Bro. The dynamo is like the most free shit out there. Oh my god, you guys have two arrow sprays. <laughs> Oh, come on. I guess I'll just paint spawn a little bit more. And our nozzle nose is dead. Nice try. I could hear him swimming from a mile away. Oh, it's the thrower! Bro, just fucking die. Nice. Fuck that thrower. Just stop- qu quit trying to force a party in turf war. Shit is so fucking lame. Ah, he's going up this way. Unfortunately, you guys have the throwing junior. I'm sorry, Yoshikas. Sorry I have to deal with that guy. Which is why I make a point to murder him every time I see him. Yeah? Yeah, let's do this. Alright, did you go around again? Must have. <coughs> 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 I 
Oh god. Hmm. Could have sworn you were right there. I knew you were there. Damn it. Uh, I want to try the Torp combo. You're blocking him? Yeah. Probably should. Sorry, Yoshikaz. Had to do it to you. That guy's so dead. Alright, you wanna just continue with this lobby or you wanna make a new one? Because I know it's kind of annoying to have a thrower in the lobby. Especially one that doesn't get the fucking hint. You wanna make a new one? Yeah, sure. I'll back out, you can block him, and then join the lobby that I make. I'm not gonna block him because, like, he it's just turf war. I only block people when they throw in ranked. Because, like, turf war, sometimes it's just a kid. Just some ran rando kid playing. But if it's ranked, oh boy, into the block list they go. Alright, gonna wait a couple of seconds to make sure that I don't end up in the same lobby. Ba ba ba. <laughs> Speed ran block him. The fastest block in the West. Da -da 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 -da. All right, let's go in. I don't block people who throw in turf war because, like, at the end of the day, nothing is really lost. If you lose a turf war, but ranked, oh boy, oh boy, nobody wants to deal with that shit in ranked. Oh, hello, you made it in just in time. You're close to your block limit as well? Jesus, how many people do you have blocked? I only have like, I think like around six or seven people blocked, and all of them are because they kept uh, throwing in ranked. <laughs> A lot, Jesus. Yeah, I guess if I started blocking people who, like, also started, like, trying to force parties in Turf War, my list would definitely be, like, up there. Oh my god, how are you not dead, my friend? Oh god, there's a guy here. Oh my god, I fucking hate armor bots! There we go, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, there's someone dead down there. I'm gonna protect you, my friend! Don't waste my jump! No! Oh, I thought I directed someone, but it was the wrong person! Oh, no. How do they have armor? Oh, that guy just fucking exploded. <coughs> All of us collectively were like, die. Nice. Oh, the Squiffer's still alive. I just want the Squiffer! There we go. <coughs> 
All right, go, 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 Tetris, go. I believe in you. Run around at the speed of sound. Got places to go, gotta follow your rainbow. Got him. Bro, that blaster fucking... The rapid blaster radius is a lot... A lot bigger than I thought it was. Ba, 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 ba. I don't care. I just wanted to ink turf. Do we... Do we get that back? <laughs> <coughs> Hell yeah! <coughs> hey! We did pretty good! Definitely actually using my baller a lot more now. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Why are there so many people in this lobby named after moons? Or at least, I mean, there's only two of them, but still, kind of strange. I guess it's just a moon kind of day, huh? Go this way. I don't know why I threw that torp there. Okay. Oh, I can't go back. Gotta go around. Got him. That's how you get rid of a blaster. Just get up in its face. Also, my bro, you are gonna die soon. Oh, you have stealth jump. Never mind. No, my train is leaving. Oh shit, they have a disconnect. F. They're grim range disconnected. Uh, yep, that's what happens when you try to push a squiffer. Damn it! Yep, that's what happens when you try to push a squiffer. Oh, uh, that beacon's dead, but this one's still available. Ah, uh, he has armor, of course he does. Nice. Gonna beacon jump? Ah, damn it, my train left. I like how I refer to that as, oh, my train left, whenever I miss the, um, the jump there. Can someone sneak past? Doesn't seem like it. gonna push them too hard because they do because they do have a disconnect. Oh that bro if you go into that corner when a blaster has you on lock you're dead. Hey I did the torp combo 
Although that might have been because it might have not even been my torpedo, it might might have been your burst bomb, Yoshikaz. But hey, I threw a torpedo at their feet and then I directed them. So I'm just gonna call that a su successful torp combo. <laughs> Didn't even use my baller once. <sighs> ba -ba 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 -ba. You got an assist for that? Ah, damn. You know, I'll still count it. I'll still count it as a successful Torp combo. <coughs> I like the way that the competitive community kind of shortens the names of like weapons and their in like parts of the weapons like <clears throat> For example, the vanilla glugas are like they can be called the blugas because they're blue. Torps, torpedoes are shortened to torps. I wonder what they're going to call the uh the tri-slinger. I guess just assuming that there's going to be like bi-slingers and just like singular slingers, I guess. I guess they're going to call it like T-sling. Oh shit, you got a buddy. Oh shit, I can't boo you because I have the map open, sorry. Alright, we're doing pretty good. Doing some pogger shit. Oh, I thought that was- oh god, I thought that was someone else for a second. Is the gal gonna come around? Hmm. They're gonna boo ya. God damn it. <sighs> There's someone here, careful. And you just got shredded. This is certainly annoying. There's someone over here. Ah, there's beacons. We need to get rid of the beacons, guys. <coughs> oh, this is annoying. You know, this is why I hope Walleye doesn't come back for Splatoon 3. Because this map, bad. There's still another guy here. Oh my god, why is there so many of them? I fucking hate dapples. There's still a beacon there, kill it. Guys, there's still a beacon there! Guys, get the beacon! Oh my god. Finally got rid of the dapples. Okay, okay. I did kill him. It was just laggy. I was gonna be real fucking pissed if that didn't count for the Torp combo. I'm gonna ball her in. God damn it. I hate brushes. There we go. That was a really annoying match. To be fair, you try to get rid of the beacons, but Dooley said fuck no. Yeah. Unfortunately, I wasn't- I'm not- neither of us were really fast kill weapons. Or at least... For you to be a fast kill weapon, you have to be at a range that would put you in like... 
big danger if the dually started shooting at you the moment they landed. And as for me, well, blasters can't really deal well with dually rolling. And the other two teammates who probably could have been able to take out the beacon without any risk, they just didn't notice it, so... You know, I'm just gonna blame our teammates on that. How are the two never opened the map? God, of course. Uh, let's just hope that the I don't have to deal with the duelies anymore. God, of course they're still here. Annoying ass duelies. Alright, our biggest threat are the duelies because they keep fucking rushing base and then slapping down a beacon. So I'm gonna play a bit more passively and make sure that they don't even get the fucking opportunity. Holy shit, I just slaughtered people. Damn it! <coughs> He's right here, kill him, thank you. Fuck those duelies. <coughs> Let's fuck him up. Oh, I have to get up here in order to save myself in the booyah. Holy shit, my b my uh, torpedo actually did something. You know what? Our brush, they died a noble death. Oh shit, my torpedo actually killed someone, really? That's kind of sad. Shit, I should have popped baller. Should have popped baller the moment I saw the arrow spray coming around. Oh, my teammate has beacons. Ah. Annoying ass. Damn it. Fucking hate those duelies. Oh my god. Why are these duelies, like, specifically out to get me? There you go. Jesus, fuck him up. There we go. Jesus Christ, what an annoying match. <clears throat> I'm gonna be so mad if he lost that. Yes, okay, good. Ugh, oh, fuck those duelies. <coughs> they only- they're dapples and they only got like less than 500 points inked. They just spent the entire round sharking. That's basically what it means. They just spent the entire round sharking and like trying to fish for kills. Well, now we know what their playstyle is. They only seem to push after they get a kill, so basically just stay really cautious, try to sniff out the duelies, kill them, and then don't let them push. You just found out a friend is getting married, yo! They better fucking invite you to the wedding. Better fucking steal all their cake. You're so lucky to see them get in, and with some help of respawn, the teammate killed them and the beacon. Nice! Yeah, that round definitely went a lot better. It was a more of a bit- 
It was a bit more of a back and forth, but in the end, we actually managed to push them back a bit. But Mason, you better fucking- you, they better invite you to the wedding and you better eat all their fucking wedding cake. Assuming that they're getting a traditional wedding ceremony. Some people nowadays, they don't really- they don't really roll that way. They don't really- don't, they don't really care much about the, uh, the big ceremonial type stuff. Shut the fuck up, dualies. All my homies hate the dapple dualies. Let me get my torp. <coughs> get his ass, Yoshi Cassie. Nice! Just gonna ink up this area. Ah, bubbles. <coughs> <coughs> oh, Christ. This, these dualies are so annoying, they gave me COVID personally. That's what they fucking get. And they can't jump in because their beacon in that area is gone. Now, if only someone will kill this beacon. Ah, oh, there's someone here. It's probably the duelies again. Fucking. Nice! Fuck them duelies. Oh, it's the arrow spray. Oh god, we're all running in the same direction. Ah, Christ, I chased that E-leader too far. You're taking their cake? Damn, Mason, I didn't realize you were gonna take their ass as well. Mason steals his friend's ass moment. Oh my god, someone help me, please. Nice. Good shit on our charger's part. Oh shit, this is probably a bad idea. I'm gonna get sniped, or not? Ah, uh, they're gonna run around. Just gonna make sure that they don't try a funny little flank here. Ah, uh, missiles. Goddamn missiles. Hmm. Not sure about that map. Yeah, we still lost. Looks like it could have been a lot more even. Maybe if I had jumped to my teammate and started griefing their base as well. Probably could have won that match. Instead of trying to focus down the duelies because... Fuck them. Fuck them as duelies. Oh. Our, our heart, you hard call that the duelies are immediately rushing to our base. Yeah, it seems to be their playstyle. But yeah, that seems to be the end of this session. It's 8 o'clock here, and it looks like Salmon Runs opens because we're seeing the news right now. And yeah, big thank you to everyone who came by. Um, Hopefully tomorrow's stream I sound a bit better. Although, considering how my muscles are starting to ache a bit, probably not. Hopefully I'll still be uh, good enough to stream, but yeah. I'm gonna try to quickly finish my playthrough of Alien Isolation before my game pass runs out. But yeah, see y'all tomorrow. Later.